Welcome back everybody to Rimworld and the town of the Dominions and Jade giggled you with her new friend Tox Toxic Vixen. Oh, a little bit of a stutter there. Last episode we lost our pet Nutty to a wolf that we also accidentally killed while trying to heal him. Um, that was fun. And just as a quick introduction to what I have done since last, we've actually installed a few mods. Now, the full list will be set in the description, so I'm just going to have a bit of a look through the architect, because I don't actually remember which ones I've actually installed. I have been playing quite a bit of RimWorld in my downtime, so yeah. So we've got garden tools, we've got more floors, we've got more furniture. So this is going to be quite interesting to play around with. It will give us a little bit more freedom in how to uh, just play around with the greenhouse and the like. So we've got digging spot. I have played around a little bit with this. i still learning how to use it all and stuff. There we go. We are now constructing. Oh dear. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, uh, so we're still playing around with how best to use each of the sun lamps, what the composter blocks does, the modular planter boxes, and blah blah blah, all that kind of thing. So we've got a few things, and hopefully this will be easier than my personal save. My personal save is, gives me quite a bit of nightmare. So we got more floors. I love these floors. They're going to make our place so pretty. So cool. I might actually uh, get rid of all the flooring in here and just change them up a little bit because you guys don't like it at the moment. Okay, what else do we have? We've got a day night switch, which is going to be very helpful in helping with our power consumption when we finally get our greenhouse and other things. I've uh, got a fuel generator that comes with baking. What else? We've got more furniture, a few counters. We'll be able to make a nice kitchen. It's a really nice living room slash common room that'd be fantastic a few other things we also have the hospitality mod this is going to be really interesting i have just started learning how to use it properly and it's going to help out hopefully with some of the things that we need so you take care of your guests and the guests will repay what you like they repay you somehow like giving you items, like even medicine, weapons, or even, you know, if you'll even have a chance to recruit them if you've got a high enough negotiating skill. We will see, we will see, I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm just having a bit of a look at the map, uh, having a, <laughs> it has been a while since I've actually recorded from this map, we've got a few things around and this we're going to have to tackle at some point. That will be way in the far future unless raiders decide to go in and break in. That's going to be just a freaking nightmarish. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the research tables and everything, but we won't do much of it for now because we don't have the components or anything like that. And the most important mod that I think should have been added with the base mod, uh, with the base game, is the allow all tool. So you can basically highlight a section and just unforbid. Uh, just as a mass thing that does it. So you got unforbid everything across the entirety of the map. And then you got unforbid selection in area. So you can just, if you just had a raid and you've got lots of um, forbidden items, you can just go, blah, there we go. Everything's unforbidden. And then forbid selection if like you've got a room full of drugs, just forbid them so nobody actually uses them and then burn them when you get the chance. And what else do we have? We've got the mass select. I'm not sure how to flex everything in an area, ignoring common sense and select selection moments. I'm not sure how to use that properly yet. Uh, we will see how that goes. But other than that, let's get started. Jay Giggledoo is working on the cooler at the moment. And we will cut away some of these trees so our windmill actually starts working for us. So about like this. Yes, so that should do it. And then we'll cut all the plants as well. First we'll harvest them and then we'll just cut them away so we can actually get some electricity running. Uh, we want some power conduits. 
running all the way across the walls to our new cooler. So there we go. Oh, this is a mess. There's all the blood of the wolf and luck. And we have Toxic Vixen, who is researching. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So we've already set her up and everything. She's not very good for much, except for maybe mining and researching. So we'll put her mining as a two for now. And then we'll just see how that goes. We really need people to just grow. So you know what? I'm going to put it as a priority. Because they really, really, really need to get some crops uh, started before winter starts. That's uh, not going to be fun. I shudder to think we'll have to rely on hunting. And just harvesting all the berries that are around. It's going to be quite interesting. Okay. Alright, so what else? We've got a little bit of defensive area, that's not going to be much. <laughs> Once we get a wall around our base, we'll be able to set up a proper, proper defensive position, so we'll hopefully be able to repel any attacks that come by. So I'm just going to speed up a bit of time. She's just playing around. Ooh, charge rifle, wow. And you've got a pistol, okay. Okay, so this is going to be running soon. Uh, I've still got a bit of steel over here. So I'm wondering how much steel we've actually got around the map. So, first of all, I should probably do this now. No forbidden things found. Fantastic. And so I already went and had a look at everything. So let's just speed up time and just wait for them. Probably just going to cut this out unless something interesting happens. Ooh. Okay, and we are back to a raid. Okay, who do we have? We have Wolf. Wolf is good at melee, good at construction, slightly artistic, and has poor growing. Okay, so I won't feel too bad if we accidentally kill you, and we wouldn't have the space anyway to keep them anyway. So we'll just let time pass and then just wait for Wolf to come join us. Where are you? Oh, he's uh, hanging around for a while. We've got a bit of Megatherium around the map. We've got a few rabbits. So we won't starve, per se. There's plenty of game around. Ah, oh, we already killed that wolf and everything. I think we were butchered at the Oh. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, there. We're getting their assault. Let's just wait for them to come by. They're already halfway across the map. Go, come on. There we go. Okay. Time to. Okay. I will have you there. I will have you up here. There we go. You will come down. You will move up. Oopsie. Not a great aim that you've got there. Yes! Uh, we didn't kill them. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see, what can we do? We can probably put a bed in here. Do we really want to capture them? That's the question. They've got a pretty good artistic. They've got a passion for construction. Considering that neither of Jade nor Toxic Vixen have a passion that might come in handy. And they've got a passion for melee. Uh, Alright, well, 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 we might as well. We might as well. Why not? Uh, is the question. So we'll go to sleeping spot. Make this as a prisoner. And we will capture them and we will wait I guess I'll set them to be chat and recruited depending on the difficulty we'll be able to Ooh, it's not so bad okay so you not assigned to doctoring you are assigned to doctoring that's right there we go wait what was your name wolf musician what let's have a look at the bit what wolf was a music lover as a child gave hasn't got a adult Story. As a child, Wolf had a talent for playing musical instruments and singing. She was given expert training and loved to perform in recitals and concerts. Though the lavish praise she received made her little self-obsessed. 
Social minus two, artistic plus five. Oh, I see, I see. Chemical, ooh, chemical interest and volatile. Mm. Actually, you know what? We'll just release you. I don't care. I don't want a volatile person in my family. Uh, actually, you know what? We will. Because that will be a story. We've got to fix up your thing, Bob. I know the words. Your schedule. That's the one. Let's do that real quick. We will do anything. You are not an ITAL, so we will do this. We will go work. We will increase it. Oop, uh, increase it by an hour at least. There we go. We got work, and then we've got that, and then that. And Jade has got a little bit longer time for sleeps because she is a night owl and she will be unhappy if she's uh, awake outside of 11 and 6 p.m. So we'll just leave her as is. So she's awake now. She'll be going to bed soon, I think. No, she just. Yes. Ooh, cargo pods! <gasps> Are you kidding? Wow. Alright, come on. Prioritize hauling all of this. That's not far from the colony too, so that's good. Okay, well that's all the silver taken, so we've got a little bit of extra silver. We've got quite a lot of silver, considering. Um, at least we'll be able to set up a... a hospital with the um, steel and everything. We're finally sowing some crops. I am super happy. Uh, we've even, looks like we've even got some, uh, 50, 50, that's probably the ones that Jade, I forced her to sew at the start. Oh, goodness. Well, we've had a raid, we've captured somebody, and I think that's a good stopping point for today's episode. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed, we will keep watching Toxic Vixen working a little bit. And it looks like this is still oh that's because I haven't cut down these trees. But push that like button, uh leave a comment in the section down below to have if you've got any suggestions, any tips, tricks, or if you want a colonist named after you. I will certainly do my best. Uh who knows, you'll be named maybe Wolf has a secret name that is yet to be known. So just let me in the comment section down below and uh, we will know. And subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, these will be short episodes as I'll do it. So certainly hope we'll see you next time. Goodbye!